People across the country tuned in to the inauguration today, including, of course, people in Grand Rapids. Yeah, it was a national event. Our Julie Dunmeyer spoke with some of them about what they saw and their hopes for the future. Now President Biden's message of unity resonating with people right here at Rosa Parks Circle. 11-year-old Josie DeVito is just learning to skate. I'm not very good. But getting good at anything takes practice. It does. Inauguration day, Josie and her mom, Anne, spent their day practicing their civic duty, watching the inauguration ceremony as a family. I actually said that to my daughter on TV. My, my husband and I both said, look, Josie, that is um, the first woman vice president and hopefully not the last. The kind words and messages, enough to make even those like the DeVitos, who aren't much for politics, take a moment. I, I was brought to tears a little bit and I'm not personally into politics so much as a person, but it was just really encouraging to Here's some good coming out of the mouths this morning. The musical performances, a highlight for Larry Thomas Dulcie Jr. Well, I got a chance to see Jennifer Lopez sing. But another thing he's happy about is the element of normalcy. Business as usual, you know, the government does it, you know, it's the United States of America, greatest nation on the face of the earth. Um, does exactly what it's supposed to do. President assumes office, everything goes as smooth as possible. Despite the masks, the small crowd, or even the non-traditional aspect of President Trump skipping the ceremony, the DeVito's family and Larry's takeaway isn't about what's missing. All the language and the songs and the things that the people were saying were trying to bring people together and really um, mourn the people we've lost. It's about all the things we share. So I was really proud to hear the prayers and the invocation and the really calling on our faith to come together as a country. And knowing that kindness is the biggest thing we all want. No matter what your faith is, it was really encouraging just to hear that message of peace. In our time downtown today, talking to people about Inauguration Day, a lot of people said that they missed it because they were at work. If you do want to go ahead and watch that ceremony, we have all of that with the story on our website. In Grand Rapids, Julie Donmeyer, Fox 17 News. All right. Thank you.